introduction to scalar traits. So, before going for scalar traits, let us discuss what is the dictionary meaning of the term traits. Definition of trait. In dictionary, the definition of a trait is a distinguishing quality or characteristic typically one belonging to a person or a genetically determined characteristic. So, that is known as a trait that means a distinguishable quality. So, now what is the what is the application of trait in our Scala programming let us discuss and concentrate on that. A trait encapsulates method and field definitions. So, trait encapsulates the methods and the field definitions which can then be reused by uh, mixing them into classes. Unlike class inheritance in which each class must inherit from just one super class. So, a class can mix any number of traits on the other hand. So, that means in case of traits we will be having some methods and some uh, variables are there. So, as we have defined and this particular traits can get mixed with the classes. In case of class inheritance, a class can inherit only from one class, multiple inheritance is not there, but a class can mix up with multiple traits if it is required to do so. Okay. So, let me repeat this very paragraph once again. So, a trait encapsulate methods and field definitions. Methods means the respective the functions and the field means the respective values whatever it can it can hold and which can then be reused by mixing them into the classes. Unlike class inheritance in which each class must inherit from just one super class, but a class can mix any number of traits as when required. So, that is a very important aspect of traits in our Scala. So, traits are used to define object types by specifying the signature of the supported methods. Scala also allows traits to be partially implemented, but traits may not have constructor parameters. So, some methods may have the bodies, so have got the implementation, some methods will not have the implementation body, but a trait cannot have the constructor parameters. So, here is one sample code to give you the understanding what is a trait. The trait definition looks like just like a class definition except that it is it is uses it uses the keyword trait. The following is the basic example syntax of trait. So, trait is a keyword. So, prior to this equal I am I have written written this trait all the letters and in the lower case. So, now it is a trait equal. So, here we are defining two methods. What are the methods? is equal and is not equal. So, define is equal is the name of the method which takes x as one input argument of any data type and which returns boolean and def that is a define is not equal is another method which takes x as the input parameter of any type and also it returns boolean is equal to not is equal x. So, here we have defined two methods are there in the class when when we will be defining another class we can we can take this trait as getting the this particular methods will get mixed up with the class definitions. So, this trait consists of two methods that is is equal and is not equal here we have not given any implementation for is equal whereas, an another method has its implementation as we have discussed already. So, child classes extending a trait can give implementation for the unimplemented method. So, the class which will be um, which will be implementing this trait will be giving the method body which is not there implemented in the trait. So, a, so a trait is very similar to what we have that is the abstract classes in our Java code. So, in our Java code we, the concept of abstract class is very much similar with this trait concept in Scala. So, for the better understanding let us go for one uh, Scala coding and we shall explain line by line we shall go for the execution the outputs will be obtained for our better understanding. So, here is the demonstration for you. Unlike class inheritance in which each class must inherit from just one super class a class can mix in any number of traits in Scala programming and traits are used to define object types by specifying the signature of the supported methods and Scala also allows traits to be 
partially implemented but traits may not have any constructor parameters so these are the main definition of a trait so in this example we shall go use uh, go to show you some example here through some code so let us assume an example of trait co equal contents that name of the trait is equal which contain two methods that is the is equal and is not equal so let us assume an example of trait equal which contains two methods that is is equal and is not equal you can find it is is e equal is one method and another method we have defined that is a is not equal okay so the trait equal contains one implemented method that is is not equal see the trait equal is containing only one implemented method that is is not equal which returns boolean and which is equal to the code is that what is the output argument of is equal that complement of that will be the output argument of this is not equal okay and you can find that is equal is not implemented but it returns one boolean so the trait equal contain one implemented method that is is not equal so when user defined class point extends the trait equal then implementation of is equal method in the point class should be provided so what is happening you can find that here this particular trait equal is getting implemented in the class that is a point that is extends equal so what is happening you see is not equal is having the implementation body here but is is equal is not having the implementation body it is having only the signature here so within this point class this is equal this very method must have the implementation as well so here we are having is in instance of and as instance of two methods we have called now here it is required to know two important methods of scala so what are the methods which are used in the following example one is the object dot is instance of point what does it mean to check type of object and the point are same or not that means the type of the object and the point whether these types are same or not so is instance of will return that one another one is that very important method that is the object dot as instance of point makes exact casting by taking the object object type and returns the same object as the point type so what will be the object type is there it will return the same object for the point type so here we are having two uh, methods are there very important methods in scala there is a is instance of and as instance of for the better understanding we will be using this methods in our code and we shall show you that how the program is running so now let me go line by line here we have defined one trait that is equal so when whenever you are defining one trait then the trait name must be preceded by this trait keyword so instead of writing here class equal here we'll be writing trait equal this trait is very much similar with the abstract class in our java where some of the methods may have the implementation some of the methods will have their will leave their signature in the abstract class body so here you see unimplemented method is is equal which returns boolean which takes x of any type and this is not equal is another method which has got implemented which takes as of x of any type and which returns a boolean here we have defined one point which is extending this equal trait so as a result of that these methods are available in this class body so here you see as this is equal it was unimplemented so within the point class i'm supposed to i'm bound to uh, de define the respective body for is equal so here we are having this object dot is instance of point and object dot as in instance of point dot x is equal to is equal to x so here you see this this is the object dot as instance of point so what about the point we are having here that x that is that this instance variable must be same as the from the object from where it will be called that x instance variable if the things are not clear let us go for the implementation that means the uh, uh, this point objects we are going to define and there will be explaining more so here you see here one singleton object we have defined that is a trait one you can give other name also no issues so under this singleton object we are defining the main function from where the program will initiate as it is a singleton object so actually this main will have the static declaration here 
but in Scala there is no keyword called static so that's why it has to be written in this way only so that is a define main args and args is nothing but one string array capable to take the command line input arguments and here you see we have defined well p1 is equal to new point two comma three so what is happening this particular p1 is nothing but a point object and this particular point constructed is taking this x uh, x and y as the value as two and three you can find here this is known as the primary constructor you know this is known as the primary constructor so in the class declaration i shall be writing passing the parameters and these parameters have got uh, have got uh, used here to initialize this x and y instance variables similarly i have defined this p2 and similarly i have defined this p3 now print ln p1 dot is not equal you know that whenever you are calling this is not equal actually it is calling is equal and its output boolean data boolean data that is true or false will be complemented so is equal is getting called so what is happening you can find that p1 p1 is the respective p1 is the respective uh, object name and p2 is the respective object name both of them are of the type uh, this point you can find it so now you, you are passing this one so this p2 is getting assigned to this object so p2 dot is instance of point that is here p1 and p2 dot as instance of point dot x is equal to is equal to x so in this way this p2 is actually is is being assigned to this object and this point is a is a respective object from where this function has been called that means here it is p1 so now p1 dot is not equal p2 now let me check what is the p1 x value that is a 2 what is the p2 x value that is a true there is a 2 here so are they equal yes they are equal so what is the outcome of this is equal will be true will be true so now what will happen as we have called this is not equal so i'll be getting false here let me execute so 2 and 2 these two values are same so these two x values are same so is equal will return true but as we have called this is not equal so it will complement the is equal output so it, will, it has become false now p1 dot is not equal p3 so p3 is having the value x value 3 p1 is having the x value 2 so they are not equal so i am getting here true here because is not equal is returning true and here we are passing this one as 2 not a point object it is a 2 is there so as a result of that object dot as instance of point so now here you see here we are expecting one point type of object but i have written one integer data here so that's why it is returning false is equal is returning false so not of that is not equal is returning true here so that's why true is getting printed so in this way in this particular sample code we have we have shown you that how to use this trait how to extend one class from trait a class can extend multiple traits in this way so you are getting the flavor of your uh, multiple inheritance in scala in that way through this extending multiple traits in a class and here you see we are having one singleton object trait one from where this point class objects have got defined and we have called this is not equal from the respective uh, main function body and here we have got the output like this one i have explained each and every line into details go on typing such codes and go on doing your experiments to have a better clarity on this trait concept thanks for watching this video